So now let's see what is signed and unsigned in Java and what is this what system is followed in Java and how it affects the value of the variable. Now what exactly is signed and unsigned? Let's take an example of a variable which is 8 bits and we've taken the same variable in unsigned which we have taken in signed. So the difference it, it, it makes is to the value of the variable. First thing first is that in case of signed you have values which range from minus to the positive side. In case of unsigned you do not have any negative values. All values are positive. So this is the first difference between signed and unsigned. In signed you got variable values from minus to plus. Minus infinity to say plus infinity. Unsigned has only values from 0 to plus infinity. So this is the first difference and second difference is when you have a signed variable you have 7 bits that contribute to value instead of 8. So 1 bit only gives you the sign. So 7 bits give you the value, 1 bit gives you the sign. Unsigned all 8 bits they correspond to value. They are all contributing to value. So there is a significant difference in the value of a variable when it's signed and when it's unsigned. So let's see what is the value when this is unsigned. So it's easier to see when it's unsigned and it's a bit complicated when it's signed. Now 1 in this position it is equal to 2 and then 2 to power 1 into 0 and 2 to power 2 into 1 it gives you 4 sorry this is not 2 this is 1 and then this is 8 16 32 64 and this is 128 so if you add all this you get what exactly is the value of this number which is 192 196 and 197 so this number if unsigned gives you a value of 197 and what happens if the same number is calculated under the signed value now when a number is signed this is what gives the number the sign so if this is 1 this means the number is negative and if this is 0 this number is positive if the extreme left bit is 0 you do what you did for unsigned you will be calculating 1 into 2 to power 0 0 into 2 to power and that way you will be calculating the values and if the extreme bit is 1 then the number changes altogether then you need to calculate in a different way then we need to calculate the ones complement for this number now ones complement will be 0 goes to 1 and 1 goes to 0 so we'll change all bits and then you need to calculate the twos complement and that would give us the negative of the number now for rule for this twos complement is that if you add 1 and 1 it will give you 10 you'll put 0 here and 1 is carry over so in our case nothing of that 1 plus 0 is 1 and rest all bits they'll come as such. Now let's see what exactly is the value of this number. Now this will be 1 and then add 2 to this and then you add 4, 8 and then you add 8 and then you add 16 and then you add 32 and this will be 48 48 and 8 56 58 and 159 so the magnitude of the number is 59 but since 1 was at the extreme left 
you need to put a minus sign so you see the difference in both the values if the number is unsigned the value is 197 and if the number is signed the value is minus 59 so just we'll go through again what we've done the signed and unsigned the difference lies in whether the value is negative or positive if it is unsigned all values are positive if the number is signed then the value can be negative or positive depending upon the extreme left bit if the extreme left bit is 0 the number is positive if the extreme left bit is 1 the number is negative so for unsigned you have only one approach you only need to calculate the magnitude and that gives you the value of the number and in case of signed you need to calculate the ones complement and then add one to this to calculate the twos complement and then you will calculate the magnitude of the number by using the same decimal approach that you have and then you will add a minus to this which will be the value of this number if the extreme left bit is one so hope this clears in a language which has signed unsigned both then if you write unsigned and you write signed for the same variable you will see different values and in java we you don't write signed or unsigned because all values are by default they are all signed so if you assign any value to a number it is by default signed so this would mean that if you have a 8 bit number only 7 bits are contributing to the value the last bit is always reserved for sign and that is what happens in Java and that you will see also when you have different data types you will see this thing how this affects the value of the variable. So hope this clears the difference between signed and unsigned.